Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing the goodness of God, and last time we discussed how we can know that only God is unchanging. But before we start on God's eternal nature, we should first ask, what's eternity? There are only two different things that people mean when they say eternity. The first is an infinite length of time, and the second is a timeless, changeless existence. There are, however, some good reasons to think that the eternity of God is the second one, not the first. For one thing, God has no beginning and no end, and basically everything that we know of which exists in time has a beginning and an ending. Secondly, because we know that God is unchanging, there is no difference between before and after for him. We think of before and after as being inevitable parts of reality that we have to deal with, but due to being unchanging, God doesn't need to deal with it this way. Those are the traditional defenses for why we think that eternity isn't a linear progression of events like time. I'd like to suggest another. Beings who exist in linear time are continually in the process of losing their past, haven't yet gained their future, and must face the reality that their present will not last. However, none of these things make sense for a perfect being. If a perfect being loses anything or has anything left to gain, they can't really be perfect, and they can't be perfect if some good thing of theirs, like their present, will be lost in the future. Because of this, linear time-like existence is inherently imperfect, and therefore eternity can't possibly be like that. For all of these reasons, we know that eternity involves existing and living in a non-linear, non-time-like way, and a perfect way, which, because it's a single, simultaneous whole, can never end. Now, you can point to certain verses of scripture which speak about eternity in temporal terms, but remember that the scriptures frequently use metaphor to describe God, talking about him using his arm and the like, even though he's not a body, so there's no reason to suppose they don't use temporal metaphors to describe something non-temporal like eternity. I just don't think there's any good reason to suppose that eternity is linear like time. Next time, how do we know that God is eternal? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.